Bears. And it is time for our feature contest, undoubtedly the biggest women's boxing match of 2018. Claressa Shields taking on Hannah Gabriels, who you see here in the entranceway, a hero in the boxing community in Costa Rica, regarded as the best 154 pound women's fighter in the world. Meeting Shields at a catch weight at 160 pounds. And there are some who have suggested that maybe this is a bit of a trap fight for Shields. We saw Christina Hammer fight earlier on tonight. She defeated Tori Hammer, Tori Nelson, excuse me. Shields and Nelson fought earlier on this year. Shields and Hammer are considered to be on a collision course. Now, that fight is hanging in the balance here. Hannah Gabriels is certainly no pushover. A longtime veteran champion who after just one amateur bout has gone on to a tremendous professional career, picking up titles at 154 and now vying for the two vacant titles at 160 that are on the line here tonight. See Gabriels with her husband, Brian Vasquez, the 130 pound contender who also trains her. And now you hear the ovations inside the Masonic Temple in Detroit, Michigan. For perhaps Michigan's favorite fighter, one of the best in the world, Claressa Shields. The unified super middleweight champion. Pretty good super middleweight behind her in Andre Durrell. Walking her to the ring. Shields now looking to unify in another division. She said she had to drop over 20 pounds in training camp to get down here to 160. This was the best fight available to her. Another one of the biggest names in women's boxing, the Shields, is trying to pick off in the infancy of her pro career, and she is fired up. Capacity crowd here at the Masonic Temple. Ready for what should be a tremendous fight. Larissa Shields and Hannah Gabriels. The IBF and WBA middleweight titles on the line. Let's send Good it down to our ring ladies announcer and for the gentlemen. official introduction. Welcome again to the historic Masonic Temple here in the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, where tonight's fights are being brought to you by Salida Promotions and Showtime. Tonight's sponsors are Greek Town Hotel and Casino, Superior Buick Cadillac GMC, Anita Active, Five Hour Energy, and Hotel St. Regis, Detroit. This matchup has been sanctioned by the State of Michigan Unarmed Combat Commission. Commission members in attendance tonight are Scott Affolter, Bob Howe, Cheyenne Burning, Sheila Howe, Todd Skinner, and Kevin McMillian. Introducing the judges as appointed, Michael Ancona, Jeremy Hayes, and Pasquale Procopio. Your referee in charge of keeping the fight clean, fair, and exciting is Gerard White. And now, boxing fans, it's time to throw down. This contest is your main event of the evening. 10 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBA and IBF female middleweight championships. Presenting first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks trimmed in white. Standing five feet, seven inches tall, she weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. 
She brings with her to the ring a record of 18 wins, one loss, and one draw, with 11 of those victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Alahuela by way of Tabarcia de Mora San Jose, Costa Rica, here is the former WBO female welterweight and current WBO female junior middleweight champion of the world, Hannah La Amazona Gabriels. Her opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner, wearing the maroon trunks trimmed in gold. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, she weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. She comes to the ring undefeated with a record of five wins and no losses, with two of those victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Flint, Michigan, here is the two-time Olympic gold medalist and the current IBF and WBC female super middleweight champion of the world, Clarissa T-Rex Shields. <laughs> Referee Gerard White with final fight instruction. Two seconds only, two seconds only. Ladies, we're going to the rules in the dressing room. I expect a spirited, passionate event, okay? The trunks here are a little high. We're going to let it work here and up. They're a little high here. We'll let it work to the middle and up. Keep your punches in front. Keep it fair. Keep it clean. Touch them up. Let's go to work, ladies. And we take a look at the tail of the tape, Clarissa Shields and Hannah Gabriels. You see the measurables. Very even, that despite the fact that Shields is coming down from 168, Gabriels is coming up from 154. And of course, the unified rules are in effect here tonight. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and the fight will be official after four rounds should there be an accidental clash of heads. Ah. Round one. This one's scheduled for 10. Two minute rounds. Shields in the silver and red, Hannah Gabriels in the black trimmed with white. Gabriels a very perky jerky style, a lot of movement. Very good footwork. These two are throwing bombs here in the early going. This to be the biggest ladies. test of Shields' career. And we referenced the possibility of a clash of heads. We just saw one just a moment ago. Seemingly no abrasions on either fighter. He misses over the top of the right hand, but comes right back with a left hook. Looks for that same shot. Manages to catch Gabriels with another left hook on the inside. Shine combination to the body from Gabriels and an uppercut drops Shields for the very first time in her career. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Box. A shocker here in round one. And a Gabriels may be looking for the finish. Shields briefly trying to keep her composure, but now she's firing away. And a welcome reprieve here for Shields, who has lost her mouthpiece. And we'll get some much needed seconds here. And John David Jackson taking every additional second to get that mouthpiece back in. This is uncharted territory for Shields. Get that mouthpiece. Final 10 seconds of a shocking first round. Hannah Gabriels puts Shields on the floor.
I'm gonna relax, okay? Let me get it. Give me the water. I got it. I'm too anxious. Take your time. Work the jab. Cut the ring off and go to the body. You go faint, okay? She trying, she's trying to suck you in. She's here, bouncing. Put that jab downstairs and upstairs. Don't look for that long right hand. Step in with that short Let's take a look at this knockdown. Again. There was the take uppercut. The jab is good. You're gonna wait for and there may have been a balance issue, but at the same time, that was a flush shot. The mouthpiece came out, and you see almost a look of bewilderment on the face of Shields, who has never experienced anything like that before, taking a deep breath before she gets back to her feet. Wow, round two underway. We did not expect this to start this way. We expected a competitive fight. We knew that Hannah Gabriels was a serious challenge, but until you see something like that happen to a dominant champion like Shields, it remains incredibly, incredibly surprising. Crowd here in Detroit trying to rally behind Shields. Relatively silent in the latter stages of that okay, opening off round. Her head, off her head, off her head. Feeling of shock amongst the audience. Shields <laughs> looking composed here in the second round. You heard John David Jackson tell her that Gabriel's looking to bounce on her toes and sucker you in for counter shots. This is much better work for Clarissa Shields, who lands a couple of big left hooks. Shields now working off her jab. Initiating these exchanges on her terms, and she might have rocked Gabriel's back with a right hand over the top. Work out of that. Let her go over there. Work out of that. A lot of people talk about this fight as simply a prelude to an eventual fight between Shields and Christina Hammer. But this is not just a, a pass-go moment for Shields, who finds herself in a real fight. The legendary Motor City Cobra. Tommy Hearn sitting ringside. Always very supportive of the Michigan boxing scene. Pues Andrés, mami, respire. No lo inflamado. Tiene que subir la mano. Si no sube la mano, la van a seguir lastimando el ojo. Si entra con ella a chocar, la va a seguir lastimando el ojo. ¿Ok? Abajo y se mueve. Abajo y se mueve. Abajo y se mueve. Tranquila, no entra a chocar. Take a look back at some of the action from round two. Really good work here from Shields, looking for retribution from that opening round knockdown. As round three begins, you have to think that in rounds, this is an even fight. That 10 8 round for Hannah Gabriels. Loom large as this fight progresses. The Shields can't wrestle the momentum entirely in her favor. Short hook on the inside from Shields. And speed. Shields just blinding Gabriel's there. A lot of those shots. Almost throwaway punches for the purpose of landing that left hook. Well, that right hand a moment ago, that was thrown with one purpose. Bad intentions on some of those shots from Shields. Whereas Gabriel standing, standing still a little more often than we saw in the opening two rounds. 
You have to wonder too Pops. if perhaps Gabriel has kind of fallen in love with her power, thinking that perhaps she can stop Shields, and she has good reason to believe she can hurt Shields. She's done it. She might want to get back to how she set that shot up in the first round. We haven't seen that kind of fluid movement we saw from her in the opening frame ever since the bell rang to end round one. Another good competitive round in all likelihood. This one edging towards Shields as well. She's trying, to, she's trying to suck on the job away through it now. But she felt the power. That was a good body shot you threw early. You get a chance. Go back to the body for me. That's going to set that right hand up for you. So do me a favor. When you fire that right hand, come back with the hook. No, no. Huh? See a big right hand over the top from Shields. And brings one right down the pipe. And then again, three good right hands in that sequence. Everything you okay? You heard John David Jackson in the corner. Want Shields to follow up with a left hook after that shot. Shields herself, just throwing off Shields' timing and range. You see right now, she is nowhere in punching range. But then jumps in with that jab. up to end that round. A better round for Hannah Gabriels as this fight continues to be incredibly competitive as we look in Gabriels' corner with her husband, Brian Baskins. Matched affair thus far 
between Caressa Shields and Hannah Gabriel. Certainly, by far, the most resistance Shields has felt as a professional and in a long time in general since that much talked about amateur loss to Savannah Marshall many, many years ago when Shields was just a teenager. Good right hand connects there from Shields. Starting to find her timing. Meeting Gabriels as she jumps in with these combinations. Called for more body work. Frankly, it's difficult to do, difficult to execute against a fighter who moves quite as much as Gabriel's does. The puffing right hand there from Shields as the intensity picks up once again. Another shot connects over the top from Shields. Gabriel's, at least temporarily, backs off picking up the tempo. Shields just putting the earmuffs on, trying to walk Gabriels down. Gabriels with a stiff jab right there. A very good round for Shields, who looks like he might have figured out the tricky style of Hannah Gabriels there in round five. Tremendous crowd in attendance here at the Masonic Temple in Detroit, Michigan. Of course, earlier on, you saw Christina Hammer and Tori Nelson. Now you're seeing likely the biggest fight on the women's boxing calendar this year, Shields and Hannah Gabriels. You saw Gabriels dropping Shields for the first time in her pro career. That will be a moment that will be talked about regardless of the outcome of this fight. And right now, particularly after round five, seems to be edging towards the dominant Claressa Shields, but again, far more resistance than we've ever seen in her pro career. Round six underway. You consider too that although Gabriels far more experience as a professional. He did only have one amateur fight. Let me remind you about Shields' credentials as she smacks her gloves together and says, come on. Stop! Go back. Don't push him. Box. Two-time Olympic gold medalist. Solid right hand connects. A moment ago from Shields. body a moment ago as well. That's what John David Jackson has been looking for since round two. And Gabriel's the only world champion ever from Costa Rica. And although there is a vibrant boxing scene in Costa Rica, many club shows happening in Costa Rica all the time, it is Gabriel's who is the leading figure in Costa Rican boxing. Bring it up, Hannah. She is trying to play off the ropes. Works well. She hammers Gabriel's back with a couple of sledgehammer-like right hands. A pair of good right hands rocks Gabriel's back into the ropes. And a big flurry as, as Gabriels lost her footing a moment ago and will get a welcome reprieve as the bell sounds.
take a look back at some of the action from the previous round. Both these women just swinging for the fences here. As Gabriel is trying to replicate what she did in round one. And Shields firmly believes that she can stop Gabriel's and towards the end of round six, did look like she might have had Gabriel's hurt. Certainly had Gabriel's on the run. She can pick up where she left off. Here at round seven begins. ropes here. Gabriel's giving her a lot to look at, but Shields, an excellent counter puncher, and now looks like she might have Gabriel's rattled once again. Larissa Shields has had to show more dimensions in this fight than in any other we've seen her in in her pro career thus far. Gabriels is by far the most accomplished, dangerous opponent that she's faced. And even if you have Shields winning every round after the first round in the knockdown, there is no doubt that these rounds have been competitive and they've been very instructive in terms of showing the full arsenal of Shields. Seconds tick away here in round seven. Gabriel still trying to fire as the round comes to a close. Christina Hammer, she was victorious earlier on tonight. Now with a ringside view of her potential future foe. See some more of the good work from Shields working off the ropes. Something that she likes to do and has done with great success in her previous fights. A little more danger doing it against Gabriel's. Three rounds to go here in this women's middleweight title unification bout. It's been a good one between Floresa Shields and Hannah Gabriels here at the Masonic Temple in Detroit, Michigan. Great fight town, not far. Where Shields grew up and continues to live in Flint, Michigan. Shields, of course, very much part of the Detroit boxing community spends time training and sparring here. Good right hand. Counter shot from Shields. And now a clash Watch of heads. heads. Watch your heads, ladies. Certainly a perturbed Shields. Ladies, work out there. You want to work? Stop! Step back. Let it go. Gabriel's is 
done some good work to the body in this fight. I mean, there are a lot of these combinations that she is landing as she leaps in. Good jab from Gabriel as well. The problem is that she's getting countered upstairs. And to a degree, I think Shields is okay with letting Gabriel throw those shots, some of which are getting caught on her elbows, so that she can counter with hard stuff up top. You saw it right there. Another right hand right at the bell from Clarissa Shields. here in Detroit. Shields and Gabriels coming down to the wire here. And a valuable experience for Shields who uh, isn't out of the weeds quite yet. And Gabriel showing that she can be dangerous. She did drop Shields for the first time in her pro career in the first round, but since then, I think an argument can be made that Shields has won every round since then. I think there might have been a round, maybe two in there that you could give to Gabriels. But by and large, Shields has bounced back, but this is a very good work from Gabriels, particularly to the body. But again, just like we talked about, Shields willing to absorb some of those shots to come back with big left hooks and straight right hands. You saw it again a moment ago. Still showing a lot of poise. Getting up off the canvas, making the necessary adjustments. Right on that left eye. And we saw in the corner is starting to swell on Hannah Gabriels. And the next flush right on the chin of Gabriels. Now again, good flurries on the rope. Shields willing to absorb it. Land heavy stuff coming off the ropes once again. Detroit, this is the 10th and final round in your main event. Well, that was the quietest I have heard the rest of Shields' corner heading into a final round. Usually by now, Shields is fired up. She's talking to her corner about how she can stop her opponent. Shields looking much more focused in the 10th round. That doesn't mean that she isn't winning this fight. In all likelihood, she has won most of the rounds since that opening round knockout. But I think you saw on the face 
of Clarissa Shields, but she knows that this has been a real fight, and for the last two minutes of this, will continue to be a real fight. Anna Gabriels has definitely given Shields the sternest test of her pro career to this point. left hook right along the belt line. Now just crowding Gabriels. A lot of the inside work in this fight has typically occurred with Shields with her back to the ropes. Now it's Shields who's the aggressor and initiating some of this work on the inside. Time in. So one of the fighters has suffered a cut and heard the referee indicating as such. Gabriel has stayed very busy throughout this fight, and even if Shields has got the better of these exchanges, Gabriel's has certainly forced the issue from bell to bell. Terrific fight between Shields and Gabriel's. fighter. Again, these are two of the very best women's fighters in the world. And that was a tremendous fight to watch, no matter the outcome. As for the outcome, looks like we will find out right now. Ladies Let's send it down to our ring announcer to make this one official. Applause for both of the fighters in this ring. After 10 championship rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision.
Judge Procopio scores the contest 97 to 92. Judge Ancona scores the contest 98 to 91. And Judge Hayes scores the contest 97 to 92. All for your winner by unanimous decision and new WBA and IBF female middleweight champion of the world, Clarissa T. Rex So Clarissa Shields battles through adversity to pick up two of the middleweight titles. An un, excuse me, a unified champion once again. And what a performance from Hannah Gabriels as well. Those scorecards don't reflect that. 97, 92, those may be accurate scores, but they aren't reflective of how fun, of how competitive that fight was and how much Shields had to work to win that fight. Of course, coming off the canvas, but then really having to work to win each and every round from there on. A tremendous performance once again from Clarissa Shields.